Hey guys and girls, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Having yourself a great day, as always. And I have been running around like a complete idiot, like a complete headless chicken, trying to scan everything I can. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hey, there we go. Can I get that resonant chest? Have I done those? No, I haven't done that one either. Well, hey, yeah. So I learned most of the basic parts for the uh, different aspects for Foundcraft. Now, it's kind of lucky because I've played with Foundcraft so many times that I actually kind of remember the basic ones that you need to get yourself going. So ones like uh, Arbor and uh, the Vacuous ones and all those type of things. You kind of just learn them over time and remember them. And then once you've remembered them, it makes life a lot easier, like Instrumentum and those. You need to kind of... It's easier to do those inside the research table and then actually run around looking at stuff, I find, so that you can kind of get it going a lot easier. But I've run around, I've learned loads of stuff, uh, I've been going mental, and you can see on the right-hand side that I'm still, <laughs> it's still scrolling through stuff because I've just literally been going bam, 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 and it's, it does quite a bit. One that I didn't realise, which is kind of makes sense, but it's kind of cool, is if we have a look in here and go to my Pharmanomicon, and my uh, basic information, we go to Aspects of Magic. Uh, if we go over this way, you'll see that I have 2,063 Vacuous. <laughs> At first I thought it was a bug, and then I was like, well it actually kind of makes sense that the deep storage units have uh, 2,000 Vacuous in them, and they are basically a bottomless pit. I know they've got a uh, limit of so many billion or whatnot, but still, 2,000 is kind of, well, I'm done for Vacuous for the rest of my life. I can leave that one now. I am happy. So let's make our way back to the magic. The reason that I've been doing all this is because I wanted to get on with some of the found craft, uh, some of the quests in our quest book for it. So if we have a look in here, one of the quests that we have is to make ourselves some gold caps and uh, a focus pouch. One gold cap and one focus pouch. And I think we've got most of the bits we need to do that now. If we have a look in here and go to Pharmaturgy where they are, we've got gold wand cap so I can learn that. And we've got the focus pouch. Let's learn focus pouch and gold wand caps. And see what we need to do this. So to make these ones in the arcane workbench, which we're going to need to make. Yes, we're going to need to make an arcane workbench as well. Because I definitely haven't got one of those. So let's quickly make an arcane workbench to start ourselves off. And I'm pretty sure these guys are just a load of uh, oh, the work table. Uh, workbench. I think I remember what it is. Let's go get some wood and uh, we'll make this guy. I'm pretty sure it's just some planks with some slabs across the top. So if we grab some of this, let's make some slabs. And that maybe? No. It's something like that. Alright. Let's have a look at our farm craft part in here. Farmcraft. There we go. That's the guy I'm after. The table. Alright, it's just two and then planks. Okay. I was close. So it's those guys and that and that and that should be all we need. Just throw that down with one of our one of our wands and that should do the trick. Let's put this guy like here and then have I got any slabbages? I have slabbage. Good. We have slabbage. And over this way in Zimata House, I should have one of my two wands. And one of them should have the stuff I need. Yeah, that's the kitty. All right, let's use this one, and we should be able to do this. We're going to need some leather as well. And I don't know how much leather I actually have, but we can make some in our alchemic al al chemistry set. So there we go. There's that guy. It's got his little thing on it, and it's looking good. Let's see if we have any leather lying around. I don't know if I'm gonna have something. I got three bits in there. There we go. Let's have a look in here, see what we need for leather. So to make it in here we need a bucket of water, we need some flint and some rotten flesh. Alright, so if we get ourselves uh, one bucket of water, so we'll grab this. I don't know if I got any water around here. I don't think I do. Oh, we got some over there. Let's get three buckets of water and a load of rotten flesh and some flint. And that should give us more than enough leather that we need to be able to do this. So, we'll grab one, two, and three. Let's make our way over to Zimubs. There we go. And we'll grab a load of rotten flesh. And I need some flint. That's going to be in one of the barrels that I haven't connected up yet. So, let's go grab some of that. And this will give us all the rotten flesh and the uh, all of the stuff that we need to make this. So, let's go back to our magic area. 
There we go. And it was flint, water, and rotten flesh, I believe. And we need a one of these. And I think we use our weakest one, our weak blood orb, to make this. Because I think it's a kind of weakish recipe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. So if we give that a second, and that should make the uh, stuff for us that we need. There we go. We've got some leather. And we'll do the same again. So let's do that. Cool. And grab ourselves a little bit more. So how many bits have we got? We've got six bits. And we need ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six. We need seven. So we're pretty close. Cool. All right. That's going to be all the bits and bobs that we need. So we need that. We need ourselves and a piece of gold and ten terra, ten ordo, and ten peditio. Cool. And I'm pretty definite I got gold in here, so let's grab a piece of that. And we'll throw it in here. So it's our gold and our leather gives us our focus pouch. Cool. All right. So we got one focus pouch. That's done. Currently don't have any focuses, but at least we have it. It's all about the questage. So we've got our focus pouch. Now we just need to make our golden caps, which are the next one. So let's look at the golden caps in here. So to make golden wand caps we need oh that's really cheap it's just gold nuggets and three of each and how much have we got left in our wand we've got a fairly decent amount i think uh 14 25 yeah we got more than enough so if we grab a couple more bits of gold from our ae network so let's grab two bits more of gold and we'll turn that into zindelgets and make a load of those so we want two of these more than likely so we'll make two gold wand caps cool beans and i think we can just maybe use a stick it's been kind of some time since I did this let's have a look uh actually no we wouldn't because we would need the uh yeah we'd need the other bits wouldn't we so I don't think that's gonna work I don't think we can upgrade it either no uh or is it the one that has the stick all right we can we just need those bits come on get in there yeah, so we can make a gold wanded cap if we want to. I'm going to leave it off for the time being, though, because I don't actually know if I'm going to need one. So let's go back into here, and we'll go into our quest book. And now we can manual submit, so we've got both of those, and we'll claim our reward. So we get a reward bag and a full heart. Way! Hey, I've got 33 lives remaining. That's probably more than 10. And a greater bag. What do we get? We got... Oh, Okay. Wait, oh, we got some more saplings. <laughs> well, they're definitely going to help when we have to do the amaranth one, aren't we? So let's pop those in there. Cool beans. And we'll look at the next task. Let's try and make our way through some of these as fast as we can. So we've got that. The next one is moving on to arcane crafting or the skyblock magic. Now, skyblock magic, I think, is a separate one that's designed for this. It's like a, an additional uh, farmcraft plugin that allows you to make those type of things around like if we go into our farm and we can go to this one sky alchemy and this allows us to make certain things so uh, there's ones up here and such and such and i don't actually, i don't even have the research for that so i wonder if that's something that i have to do beforehand let's look in our questing book and maybe it'll give us some information about it so so you may have noticed that there are no trees or land where do you get silver woods and great woods glad you asked if you'll turn to the EXA tab of your Pharmonomicon, you'll find research for creating the lovely saplings that would normally fill your world with magical joy. A task where the player can hand in items or fluids. One can also use the quest delivery system. All right, so I need to make a great wood sapling. That's the first thing. And the rewards will be a great wood, a silver wood. Okay, so I have to make a great wood. Now let's go back into here. And have a look. So that's going to be great wood up there. And we've got missing uh, research at the minute. So I'm guessing I might have to learn some of these first. So shimmer leaf. Uh, and this one. Alright, so cinder pearl didn't do anything. And I'm missing some magic and some poison from this. Okay. Well, let's have a little gander in our book. So... We want some of the magical one, some Procantio, so we need some Vacuous and Potentia, so let's put these together, shall we? So we need some Potentia, wherever that one's hiding out, and we need some Vacuous, 
Potentia and Vacuous. And I'm pretty sure I've got more than enough Vacuous forever. <laughs> there we go. So we got some of that stuff. Good times. So we got ten of those. And the other one that we need was... If we go to here... We need some of the poisony looking ones. So let's look at that and see what that's going to be. So the poisony one. Uh, Venom is Aqua Amortis. Okay. So let's do this. So we want Aqua and Mortis. Oh man, we need more Mortis as well. I think Mortis is life. Uh, wherever life's hanging about. Victus, and it's not Mortis or Spiritus. Oh man, I can't remember which one it is. I used to be able to remember all of these. Uh, I'm going to give in in a second and look in the book. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's not that one, I think. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, let's go have a look in the book. All right. So for that one... We need. Oh, I must have gone past it. Victus and Peditio. Okay. All right. That's the one. So we need some Peditio and some Victus. All right. Two of those. Oh, man. We need a lot of stuff to be able to do this. And I don't think I've got enough yet. Let's have a look. Oh, we have. We've got enough. Cool. So I can learn that one. Oh, man, we still haven't learned this one yet. Maybe I need to I need to um, go through stuff to try and find it. Let's learn the Falmium Hammers. We'll learn the Totem Craft. Can I learn it yet? No. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and uh, do some research on this to try and find, around, find out how we're going to be able to get this guy. Maybe we need to learn some trees or something like that because that might be what it is. But, uh, yeah. Falmium hammers, that's kind of cool. I like that one. And then totem craft. Way. Uh, the wooden and cobble field of skies are introduced to a new color scheme today. The magic contained within the obsidian totem makes them both a viable source of arcane energy and very pretty. Though decoration is probably the better use of them. <laughs> that's a thing. Alrighty, well I'm going to go have a little uh, search around. I'm going to go and scan some more bits and I'll be back if I come up with anything. Alright, so we're actually going to need kind of a fair bit to be able to get the um, Great Wood. Because we need to go, f we need to jump for a few hoops before we can get to it. So what I decided to do is, because we're going to be using this a fair bit, it's going to help if I can see nodes. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves some goggles of revealing. And I've started getting my research together to be able to do that. Now, uh, the one thing I need is loads of Aurum. Which you can see is made with the uh, the Procantio and the uh, and the air. So let's make a load of that. There we go. Because we've got six Aurum, we've got the Procantio, and we've got the Census. So there should be enough now to go and do this. So let's look in my Pharmonomicon. Yeah, we've got the stuff we need. So goggles of revealing are two Pharmometers. We need basically five of most bits and some leather. Okay. And let's have a look at our thermometer inside here. And I don't think you get it back, so yeah, that's a thing. So basically, two any type of shard with some gold and some glass. Alright, that is zero problems. So we'll grab that, we'll grab some glass, and two different types of shards. I got like, I need to start getting more shards, so I might even start thinking about automating shards in a way, because... We're going to need a lot, and I'm always running out of shards. So maybe we'll set up some like autonomous activators with some hammers or something in a block place or whatnot, and we'll do it that way, just so we can get more of these uh, faster, because I'm, I am going to need them faster. So we've got our gold. We've got that. All right, so we're partially there. Two more bits of gold and some leather. Cool. Oh, man, we need to do this again, aren't we? So let's do that. And let's throw in that. And we'll get ourselves some more leather. And we want our two bits of gold. Okay. So we got that, we got that, and we got that. Let's fry it all in it and see if this is going to do the trick. So, 
Uh, our research for it is here. Lever, 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 lever. And then those are the bottom. So that guy, that guy. And we got our lever. And our gold. And I think we got all the bits. Yeah, we have. Cool. So my goggles are revealing. Lovely. And I'm starting to get low on this, so that's definitely going to be a thing. So let's throw on my goggles of revealing. And we'll see if we can see anything about. Now, I think the best place to be finding nodes is probably going to be the never. I would guess. That's probably going to be the best place. So let's go have a look -y see I remember someone on like the beginning episodes told me there was one on your house. But there is definitely no node <laughs> above my house. Yes, there is zero nodage going on above that house. Let's go and uh, have a little gander in the never. See if we can find any around here. I'm hoping all the silverfish have gone. Because there was like a quadrillion silverfish last time I was here. And that reminds me I need to make another one of the... Uh, to be able to scan all our bits. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Is this done now? I think it is. Yeah, it is. I basically got a load of grass in the nether now. How cool is that? And I can see a node over there. Cool. So we have got nodes here in the nether. I don't see many, but I do see one over this way. Oh my lord. Look at the amount of silverfish on my map. We're going to have to go find these guys. Let's go over this way. Shh. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're in the walls. Oh my Jesus, look at all of them. All of the hellfish. Okay. Oh my God, they're doing that horrible fish thing that they do. I want to like go through there about dying. Oh, uh, let's go. Where is it? It's over there. Okay. All right, we'll do it this way. So if I dig through here. There we go. Okay, do oh, wow. That is a thing. That's a guy. Let's beat him up with my blood blade. My blood blade. My bound blade. Because it's very strong. Although he's pretty strong as well. Oh my god. Evil pigmen. I'm pretty sure these guys are split into like millions of babies. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Alright, we good? We're safe. Kill. So what we got in here? Oh my god, it's one of those creepers that just explodes before you can run away. Unless you kill them. <laughs> insta gibbed. Alright, so we got a couple of things here. That's not too bad. Let's grab some of this. Yummy. I'm going to have to go around and find a load of nodes. And I'm going to have to mark them on my mini-map. I think that's going to be a thing. Because we haven't got any research to be gathering nodes yet, so... Yeah, if we can go mark all of the different nodes on the minimap, like there's another node here, I think. Yeah, that's got a load in it. It's actually got loads in it. That's not a bad node. Cool. So we can use two nodes here. And I wonder if I can see any more. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh man, I'm really bad at spotting nodes. I see one up there? No. Huh. What have I got turned on? Because I just used some blood. Okay. Alright. So there's going to be more around here. We're just going to need to go and find them. It's going to be a thing. Why are these trees flashing? <laughs> Why are they flashing? Are they meant to do that? Probably. Probably. Yeah. So I'm going to go around and mark all these guys out. There's two right next to us. So that's not bad. And I can start making my area. You know, what I'm going to do with the great wood is I'm actually going to make myself a small platform. And I'm going to turn it into a magic forest, I think. Unless I can find a magic forest around us that's already there that I can use. Because there's different biomes, isn't there? So I might take a fly out and uh, just keep my finger on this to see if I can find the biomes that I'm after. But once I've got those, I can actually make a magic forest. And that's going to be a million, million times easier for uh, being able to set up for the for the great woods and for the silver woods that we're going to need and we can also if we're lucky and it's dark enough we can get pecs as well which are great for trading so maybe we'll be able to get some pecs i think that's going to be a thing so there we go guys that's going to be that for this episode we've handed in some questage we've uh, got ourselves sorted for the next few episodes for making our magic forest and all that good stuff you know i'm pretty hyped it's going to be fun 
So I'll see you guys soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always. And goodbye.